um, the demo we have is a sample application. It's called Digital Mementos. And it is a multi-platform, multi-device software experience uh, clustered around location, which is part of what we got when um, Telmap became part of the Intel family a right. year ago. Um, we got a, a bunch of great location capabilities. Mm -hmm. So we have a brand new Ultrabook. It has multiple sensors, including GPS. Fabulous. Which means that, um, among other things, uh, a combination of that and our location service means no more printing a map while you're in the car and then crumpling it up because we can look at how we can help solve that problem. Um, so we have an Ultrabook, an iPad, and an Android phone. Okay. Us? Sure. So, um, so what we have here is the Digital Mementos application. As I said, it's a sample app. It uses uh, our services plus, um, obviously, it's part of Windows 8. And um, we have a, a trip that we're going to take in San Francisco. And this is all live, so if it crashes, I want to remind people that real demos crash. Fake demos do not crash. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Yes. <laughs> this is why would you put a crash into a flash demo? You wouldn't. Um, uh, so. Uh, we have a set of things we can look at before we took the trip. Um, so these are all different places we could go to. Blue Bottle Cafe, coffee, very good coffee went there this morning. Um, but then we also built a trip. So we're in the middle of this trip right now. Um, this is the, the different places we've looked at. One of the places we could go is Alcatraz, which I expect to be going to if the demo fails. Um, and you'll notice that, uh, that that map drew a little bit slowly there for a second. The reason it did that is because that's actually using our mapping service, right? Um, so it drew, it, it drew it live, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that is accessible, uh, or will be accessible to all developers uh, at a near future date. Okay. Um, so uh, let's take a look at where we actually are right now. Um, one of the things we enable is the uh, notion of uh, geo-linking geo or geo-embedding as well as geofencing. So you can take pictures of the places you went, and then you can associate them with a point of interest or yeah. a UI. Um, and then you can actually share those with other people. On any platform. On any platform, as it turns out. So um, let's look at that. So I'll go into my app. Uh, I share. It says it's been successfully shared uh, on Facebook. Uh, we'll go over to the app. So um, we have here, uh, 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 this is a Facebook page. There's a great picture of me. Thank you, demo team. Um, and we clicked on the link there. We're now actually in your page uh, on uh, your iPad. And we're looking at another HTML5 app. You'll notice it's not the same as what we do on the, uh, on the Ultrabook. That's because we don't want it to be identical. That's but I didn't have to download this. I just got this. It just was the magic of software. Fabulous. Yeah. Um, and uh, so you can interact with, with, uh, with my trip. Um, one of the things you can do is you know that I walk from Union Square past the cable car turn around to get down here every morning. You can leave me a geo message. So a geo message is linked to a specific place on my trip or as part of my trip. And we do what's called geofencing. So geofencing says um, link this message to this specific location and then deliver it to Peter. You're doing this through the magic of software. Deliver it to Peter when he goes near that location. On whatever device Peter happens to have. On whatever device Peter happens to have at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so we happen to have here uh, an Android phone. Um, and I'm going to hold it up straight. Um, so it says you have one new geo message. Uh, we're we're um, uh, pretending for a second that I'm walking through uh, the cable car turnaround. Uh, I click right here, it says messages nearby. I click on messages nearby, and then I'll read this. It says, hey, do not forget to bring chocolates from Girardelli. So, um, so Girardelli happens to be right by there. So, of course, I had to remember to bring the chocolates from Girardelli, which is why, ta-da, through the magic oh. software, I have chocolates from Girardelli <laughs> to give to Thank you. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. <laughs> so tell us what we just saw. So, um, starting an Ultrabook, we think an Ultrabook is a phenomenal uh, first-class location citizen and a great place to think about where you're going to go. But clearly it's not going to be the thing necessarily that um, uh, is your experience, right? So we created a, a trip, we uh, built the trip out, and then we did a little bit of the trip on the Ultrabook, then I shared the trip with you on your uh, iPad. And I didn't have to download a special app or anything. Nope. And, and through the magic of services, um, it knows it's you on the Ultrabook, me, or sorry, you on the iPad, me on the Ultrabook, and then me again on the Android phone. Um, you then leave a message for me. I have it on the phone. I see it when I walk through that location. I remember to get you chocolates. You get chocolates. The demo didn't crash. We're all good. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.